issuing an official reaction in Parliament this afternoon, the Minister of Education said a directive has been issued to all district authorities to enforce a policy issued in 2005 for all schools to install lightning arresters. The minister also said soon the inspection of all schools will be undertaken to ensure that policy is complied with. It follows the deaths of 19 pupils who were struck by lightning in Kiriandongo yesterday. 51 others were injured in the deadly incident. We want the school administration to take responsibility of ensuring that the lightning conductors are in place in every school. And all those that have expired should also be reinforced. Separately, the Minister of State for Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echueru, announced moves by the government to plug the loopholes that have allowed buildings without lining arresters. He blamed them for the deadly lightning strikes that have killed scores, mostly school pupils. And we, Honorable Minister, we agree on this. The Minister of Works is going to send a circular to all the people whose business it is to certify a building before it is allowed for human habitation. A public building must, as a minimum, have a lightning arrestor. The Minister was addressing a press conference at the Media Center this afternoon. He also said his minister would be assisting the victims of the lightning strikes and their parents in conjunction with the Internal Affairs Ministry and Health Ministry. He promised free medical care for the victims. Meanwhile, the Uganda Red Cross Society today gave some advice on what Ugandans need to do to minimize the deadly effects of lightning. It has to be a household responsibility, first of all, at family level. Parents have to talk to their children. They have to ensure that they're prepared uh, uh, to, to respond in case lightning happens. It is not clear whether the current spate of lightning strikes is due to climate change. But since last week, the death toll has reached nearly 30, with scores of others injured. Craig Adoda, NTV.